डीप सीक है शॉक द वर्ल्ड अगेन गाइस देर लेटेस्ट रिलीज डीप सीक वर्जन थ्री जीरो थ्री टू फोर हैज एनाइलेटेड द कॉम्पिटिशन इंक्लूडिंग क्लॉर थ्री पॉइंट सेवन सॉनेट येस एनाइलेटेड एंड द बिगेस्ट डिफरेंस दैट विल सी विद दिस मॉडल इज इट जनरेट्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंकिंग टोकन्स दैट इज चेन ऑफ थॉट टोकन्स एंड दैट हेल्प्स दिस मॉडल टू एनाइलेट क्लॉर थ्री पॉइंट सेवन सॉनेट इन मैक्स लेट मी शो यू द मैक्स टेस्ट रिजल्ट दिस इज माई फर्स्ट लेवल वन मैक्स क्वेश्चन फॉर लार्ज मॉडल्स क्लॉट स्कोर जीरो आउट ऑफ टेन and you know how much deep seek scores 9 out of 10 let's move on to the next question that is shaded circle question here again clot scores 0 out of 10 and deep seek 10 out of 10 yes 10 out of 10 guys then moving on to the earnings problem again clot scores 0 out of 10 and deep seek scores 3 out of 10 of course this is a hard question and in fact impossible for non thinking models but deep seek does that moving on to level 4 max question deep seek scores 1 out of 10 but clot 3.7 sonnet again scores 0 out of 10 guys and let me tell you it's not that clot 3.7 sonnet is performing bad but no non thinking models will be able to get this right so now if we look at the total scores that is 23 out of 40 for deep seek and 0 out of 40 for clot 3.7 sonnet if this is not the definition of annihilation then what is i don't know an absolute game changing model guys let's move on to the first coding question this time for a change i used this models in an ide and asked them this particular prompt generate a complete website about solar system and its eight planets the whole website needs to be animated using svg and everything that can be developed by you each planet has a web page without using any external assets build the website so that is a big task to do guys so the models went on to create each and every page to build the entire website as you guys can see starting off with lot you can see that it gets into errors and it says that i will recreate the whole earth page again in this particular example and this is not one single time it gets into this error for every other page okay clot 3.7 sonnet is done now let's have a look at it so we can see the solar system and navigation bar with each planet that looks nice but the orbit seems to be messed up if we scroll down we can see the eight planets and little brief about them If we click on Mercury we can see the planet the information about it some SVG using beautiful illustrations that all looks nice and at the bottom we can go to the next planet and we can see the same with Venus all the info same with us so on and so forth for all planets this is an absolutely awesome web page guys but we have to note that while coding this model got into errors and the orbit it mentioned in the home page was not correct now it's time for deep seek model right off the back you will see that this model didn't get into errors or rewrite the page but wrote the whole website in one go so it seems deep seek has done let's have a look at the website so this is the website it says click on any planet to learn more about it but i tried to do it but it didn't work but the orbit looks correct compared to clot 3.7 sonnet so i went on to share the error with deep seek and also you know this will be a nice way to check how good this model is when it comes to feedback and correcting the errors so as you guys can see it goes and makes the edits and it's done let's open the page and let's see if it was able to correct the error and as you guys can see we are able to click the planets and if we click the planets a page opens up with a planets illustration and a little bit info about it not very comprehensive like clot 3.7 sonnet but it's okay so comparatively it's a tough competition but i would say it's hard to get the orbit right and making a web app like interface is also very hard so i would say clot 3.7 sonnet website was informative but deep seek's website felt more like a web app which i prefer but as you guys can see this is a tough competition guys so we have to dig deeper and ask these models to do harder stuff so the first question is write a snake game in python using pyqt5 in fact both models did a good job in creating a working game according to the question but it was time to take it to the next level now they have to make the head look like that of a snake and also the movement should be like that of a snake this is a hard question guys and both models caught into multiple errors until clot 3.7 sonnet gave this an absolutely perfect snake game comparing that to deep seek we see it gave us a white screen and this was after multiple back and forth with the models so this point clearly goes to clot 3.7 sonnet next up is front end coding can they code a dragon out of scratch in web let's see guys okay so if we look at the responses both look good not that great but i think we can prompt them again let's give them some feedback let's say that we are not able to clearly distinguish them as dragons okay we have got the responses from both models let's have a look okay they look awesome guys I will have to say that it's a close call but I would say deep seek's version looks more like a dragon right comparatively so I would say deep seek is better but that's my personal opinion it can differ from what you think but 
how will they perform when they are asked to build the Mario game? So let's have a look at the results. Starting off with Claude Sonnet's response. It seems that the start button is not working. So let's give that feedback to the model and let's see what DeepSeek has come up with. Okay, so start game. Okay, and that works guys. Awesome. Let's play a bit. Okay, we see enemies and game over. That's nice. So this was the first iteration. So I did a back and forth with these models. The reason being, Claude was not able to give us a working code. And to give a fair chance, I had to prompt DeepSeek as well. But these are the final results guys. If we talk comparatively, I would say that DeepSeek has a good amount of enemies and it actually felt like an actual game. So this is a win for DeepSeek again. But the question is, can they now animate falling letters? Let's have a look guys. So let's first look at Claude's response. And as you guys can see, that's a black screen and nothing else. Clearly showing that it's a fail. Now let's move on to DeepSeek. Let's see what it has done. And as you guys can see, we do see something. Although it says to move the ball with the cursor, but I was not able to do that. And also it didn't fetch the letters, but it was able to at least give us something right. Instead of giving us a black screen. So that is a clear win for DeepSeek V3. But the question is, can they now code a hollow circle with bouncing balls? And that too in Python. Let's see guys. Let's start off with Claude. Let's see what it gives us. And I ran the code and it looked awesome guys. But only to see it just closed unexpectedly. And in console there was an error. Which clearly shows that this is a fail. Let's see what DeepSeek has come up with. And let's run the code. And the balls were bouncing correctly. And most importantly the opening which is visible. And the actual opening are same. Which even DeepSeek Carbon gets wrong. That's absolutely awesome guys. That's a clear win for DeepSeek. Next up I asked this model to make Earth simulation. Let's see what they did. Starting off with DeepSeek, I ran the code. Only to see it failed. This is indeed a hard level question guys. But let's see if Claude is able to get it right. What do you guys say? So I ran the code and okay we do see something. We are able to identify the day and night cycles but I think nothing else other than that. That's not an accurate representation but at least it worked. So comparatively this goes to Sonnet. Next up was to see if they can build a Pac-Man game or not. So. The initial impressions are both were not able to give me a working code in one go but after giving equal number of chances to both models this is what they have come up with and I would say both are not 100% right but Sonnet's response was slightly better. So now if we look at the total scores we can see that Claude was better in three tests that is the snake game, earth simulation and pac-man whereas DeepSeek was better in four tests that is dragon, mario, falling letters and bouncing balls. So clearly the overall winner is deep seek. Next up was to see how they performed in reasoning. And trust me guys, this will be a wild ride. Starting off with the first reasoning question. As you can see on the screen, deep seek gets it 6 times right. But Claude gets it 10 out of 10. That's a clear win. Moving on to the letters question. Things take a flip this time guys. Deep seek scoring 8 out of 10. But Claude just 4 out of 10. Moving on to connect the dots question. Again things take a flip. Deep seek scores 4 out of 10. And Claude scores 10 out of 10. Next up is the grids question. The diagrammatic representation is visible to you. So in this question things again take a flip. And deep seek scores 7 out of 10. And Claude scores just 3 out of 10. Moving on to a harder question. That is seating arrangement question. Both models get it wrong. And moving on to the 64 tennis players question. Both models get it wrong. So if you look at the total scores, that is 25 for DeepSeek and 27 for Claude 3.7 Sonnet. But I would say that DeepSeek was able to get the grids question right 7 out of 10 times, which is a harder question than the previous ones. So I would say that when it comes to thinking, there is not a big difference when you allow the DeepSeek model to think. Because as I said at the start, this model generates a lot of tokens and that's the reason of its incredible performance. But, but even if we don't allow this model to think, even then it gives good performance. On public dataset of RKGI, the model scored 28%, putting it at 3rd place, just behind Claude 3.5 Sonnet and a bit behind Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Showing that in raw intelligence, Claude 3.7 Sonnet is still ahead guys. But we have to remember guys, this model just costs $0.27 per million input tokens and $1.1 per million output tokens compared to $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens which is at least 11 times pricier than DeepSeek. Clearly this model is people's champion guys. What a comparison this was and I am so glad to see this model. And please guys tests like these take a lot of effort. So if you are my returning viewer please do subscribe and like the video to help out the algorithm.